Oh, hi, fellas. Frankie Day, back again on YouTube. This evening, YouTube, I have inbox review on Jake Cutler, Steve's Across the Pond Carrier Aircraft Group build. And I like to present my inbox review of the uh, entries I'll be doing on his, um, his group build. I got this from Freddie. He tagged along with the uh, E26 Marauder that he sent me. And, uh, so don't let the box art to discourage you because what saved my bacon is they give you two sets of decals, one for the carrier and one for Sandy. So right here is my inbox review, folks. So please excuse me using the webcam a lot quicker. I can show the review on this. And uh, of course, face to face. Uh, this is the earlier Monogram uh, uh, release, 1948, uh, 148 scale. Uh, Sandy, also regarded as the Able Dog, ADs. And uh, in the beginning of the uh, of the inbox review, these are the instructions that they give you, and these, these instructions are no different than the instructions you get anywhere, any model kit cup that makes them. Exposed views of the construction, how the model is put together. On the back side of the instructions, it shows the, the color call outs for the Vietnam version on the Sandy, which is flown by the South Vietnamese Air Force. Now, the kid, I the, now the finish I'll be doing this would be a carrier aircraft off the USS Intrepid. And this is the key. Key, key motive right here that, that'll change Sandy into a carrier base aircraft AD. The decals here. With the Bumble B Stinger, it fits right along the, the, the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer. And you get the 412 AK, which is the color code, uh, which is the squadron code for attack AD, which is on the USS Intrepid. And uh, right over here, you got your your uh, your North Vietnam uh, low visibility uh, star and bar. And you have your uh, USS Intrepid. So I'll be using these decals right here, guys. And it's going to be painted gold gray with white undersides. It comes with a pilot. I'm happy, Bill. I got a pilot in this one. So, uh, you'll be painted with a, the pilot uh, uniform of the day, I can, as I can remember. Instead of all green, they were, they were orange. And uh, with, a white, uh, with a white stew pot on their head. So, that'll be uh, the decals. That's the decal they use on, on, the, on the build. So, Instead of being North Vietnam, instead of being a, a Vietnam flying dump truck, it's going to be an AD shipboard AD. And uh, here's the kit right here as we go through it. Freddie got a head start on a little bit. He likes to uh, tinker a little bit and check things out, see how it goes, and oh well, puts it back in the box and goes somewhere else or something else. I used to do that a lot too, folks. They call that modeler's syndrome. Modeler's syndrome is inherited by the modeler himself. When you got a lot of kits looking at you, I ain't talking 5, 6, 10, 15. I'm talking about 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 1,000. When you got all these kits, it'd be like you walk into a hobby shop. Every model you see would be your stash. And you just can't make the money what you want to build. You go, oh yeah, I think I'll build that. So you grab this, take around a little bit. Ah, oh, heck with that. I'll put that away. I go somewhere else. And pretty soon you got a lot of, a lot of models uh, that have that been, that been tinkered with, and in regards of uh, painting and getting started and and belly out and go to something else. That's what's called model syndrome. But uh, the thing about it is, I I was that way too. So I broke myself in that habit. So you just gotta when you get something going, just finish it. There goes something else after that. Anyway, back to the build, folks. Of course. 
Here's a few slides to give you. It's very detailed. And, and Freddie, uh, he went airbrush some uh, light gray in there, which, which is the color on the shipboard AD. The same thing as that on, on the SPAD they use in Vietnam. It's the same thing. All gray interior. No chromate green. No, no uh, yellow chromate green. Gray. All the way. These are gray. Landing gear wells on all ADs were white. So what this is going to be, this is going to be all gold gray with white under the fuselage. The uh, right, the, the, the port side, section of the fuselage is on the same way. You can see how Freddie painted a little bit of uh, gray there. Thank you, Freddie. Save me some airbrushing. <laughs> Here's the cockpit he did, the, the cockpit tub to give you. It comes with a joystick, seat. The seat's going to be picked out with some seat belts. And the headrest will be painted leather. And that's it right there. And uh, here's the wing assembly. And I believe there's parts in there for the uh, wing fold. So if you, if you elected, if you elected to, uh, if anybody has this kit, this Monica 148 scale AD, if you decide that you want to have the wings folded for shipboard storage only, and the hangar decks are even on top of the decks of the carrier prior to takeoff, you can score along. You can score along that wing right there, and the wing will snap off. But in the wing root right there where the outer wing panel goes that where it folds that, there's a rib that fits in there. So that'll save that'll save you going out there and getting a resin wing fold for the kit. And uh, that's a good touch that Monica put in there. And uh, here's a top wing section here. And uh Horrells, uh, your horizontal stabilizer, and um, there's a rib I'm talking about right there, folks. Once you once you remove that outer wing panel, you take this rib right here, and you glue it on the center wing section where the outer wing panel is, is adjacent to it as when it's fold. It's detailed there, very detailed. You can see uh, ribs there, and it goes on the outer wing panel, and also the uh, the center section of the wing. And on the rest of the hook, at the rest of the hook here, and with the rear tail wheel, well, is all incorporated as one. Clear parts are two of them, two pieces. Very clear, clean, crisp. A little dab of future, and she's good to go. While I got this out, I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to put this in the bag and keep it scratched up. And you got your ordinances. You get the 375 pound auxiliary fuel tank. You got your landing gear, oil struts. You got your main landing gear doors with wheel wells attached to it. You got your retracting struts. You got your tail wheel assembly right here. If it's, you got your dashboard here, which is. Uh, Your dial cancel right there fits on there, console. Joystick underneath it. And you got your tires on there. Those are your tire hubs right there. And there's that screw and uh you got the cowling. Freddie did an excellent job painting the engine, so I'm gonna leave that be. And for respect for uh for respect for uh, Freddie. And uh, that's less work I have to worry about that. You paint a little bit on the prop, which is gray. That's going to be all aluminum anyway. The blades will be black with yellow cuffs. And uh, huh, another decal sheet to give you. I believe right there is another decal sheet of AD to give you. Nice touch. That go to the decal box. And uh, 
that'll be that. So it's going to be a fun build. I built one of these a long time ago, guys. I painted it in the same uh, markings that I'm going to do this one off the USS Intrepid back in 1965. That's when this model is going to be done. I had one of these a long time ago, guys. I remember I know exactly what happened to it, and I got a feeling that's exactly what happened to my B-26 Marauder. Because I got thinking, like, as when something puzzles me, I just keep on rambling in my mind. Where the hell did that damn thing go to? Where did it go? So I'm going back years. So I went back 32 years ago. I moved out from California out to Ohio. My wife wanted to come back home to Ohio. I sold my house out at the beach, my sailboat. Say goodbye to my friends. Came out to the Buckeye State of Ohio. Whole different country, different culture out here compared. No matter where you live at, folks, people live differently. But we're all people. And I remember I had all my models uh, stashed. And I had them all, all the built ones were actually were custom made to fit inside these boxes. Keep them getting busted. They rattled. And I was pulling a, a U-Haul trailer. I had that thing stuck with models inside and outside. And I can remember a trucker right outside of Williams, Arizona. He told me, he goes, know something? And so you lost the box back there. I, I said, well, I better go back and see if I can find it. But I never could find it. So that box was the B-26 Marauder that was in it. And his AD Sky Raider. So that I lost a bunch of other ones too. Uh, I should have been careful. I was moving, guys. So like I said, you move cross country like that, <laughs> you're gonna lose something, but it can be replaced. So anyway, folks, that's a little uh, nostalgia of the missing B-26 Marauder. And that's gonna be the uh, inbox review for Jake Cutler, Steve across the pond that's going to be my group build uh, for his end and uh, I'd like to be able to see more what's going on I haven't heard nothing from Steve yet Jake he's probably uh, working on some models right now or doing a honeydew list or something you know and trying to keep the missus happy so we can go back to his uh, so we can reside in his man cave and do like all of us do build models and uh I got an email from uh, Warren Blanch, Blanch uh, and uh, he's doing fine at home. He's got four children. And he's got a brand new addition to family. He's about some baby boy. Uh, he'll be back on YouTube real soon. And when you got a <laughs> when you got a house full of kids and a brand new baby, it's just a lot of work there, folks. Yeah, Mama son don't uh, take that too kindly when you're out there to man cave building a model, making YouTube presentations. We can be watching a baby. So I imagine when the baby gets all squared away, then he'll be back on YouTube. So he'll be back, folks. So I'm glad I heard something from him. So I know he's well, he's okay. I don't have to worry about him too much. And I was getting worried about him for a while. And I hope Russell Gosselin's got his end squared away. And and uh, good Lord's willing, and I think things will be okay for him to get squared away. He'll be back. I know he's on YouTube. He's watching everybody. He's complimented me a couple of times, and everybody else so he's still there he's not out in the dark yet so I hope we get things squared away uh, Russell you will buddy and like I say compromise mama son you guys get down together and do some talking and if you got little ones out there you got to do it for your kids too and yourself so things will work out okay boys let's chat it right here it's time for you to sign off right here it's been a busy day for me in these builds so I got all my builds uh, all covered, and uh, tomorrow I should have an update uh, build report on my uh, AS6M J uh, Japanese Zero on the Easy Snap Group build on Clint's end, and uh, I probably have another one tomorrow too on my uh, B26. And Monday uh, it's going to be uh, Arizona Day for me. So uh, I'm going to be working pretty much all day long in Arizona. Get the, my goal for Arizona is to get all, everything all masked down pretty good and, and airbrush that deck teak and make a video. So I'm going to work. I'm going to try to get uh, all these builds out of the way. I'll take my time on the builds. I'm not going to rush them and 
and screw things up. So I want to finish up the plate before I get out into Arizona, and and I might uh, and I'll, I'll probably do, do some more builds on the other builds. Just keep it going. So I'm gonna be a busy little beaver for a while, and I'm happy. And I hope you guys are happy too, which you are. So, uh, I'll time me to sign off right here. I've been on here now for 15 minutes and gone. And, uh, I'd like to thank everybody once again for your, your wonderful comments. And thank you for viewing my, my update group builds I got going on right now. And, uh, may God bless. And, uh, Stay tuned for the next video, which I'll post tomorrow on my zero. You crazy glue on your fingers, get some nail polish, put it on there. Your, your hands are free. And uh, you're good to go. Okay, boys, it's time for you to get out of here and uh, catch y'all later. May God bless. And get cracking on those builds, boys. I want to see some videos out there. I feel like I'm hoarding the whole YouTube. <laughs> Okay, man, we'll catch you tomorrow, boys. Y'all take care, fellas. May God bless. Bye-bye.